Monday, you guys. I'm like in a really good mood today, which is rare for me. So I need to like, I need to like take this all in because I'm actually in a happy mood. So that doesn't happen quite often with me. So I ha I had to film. It was just one of those days that I'm like, I have to film. Like I'm so happy. I have to film. <laughs> um, okay. I'm like a little bit over the top. Anyways, so I'm gonna go get coffee right now. It's like freaking 80 degrees out. I'm burning. I hate this weather and I, I can't use like um very like, you know, like out there clothes because I do work with kids. So I have to like refrain myself from going naked basically. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go get some coffee. I've been really liking how they make my coffee here. So I'm just like into it all over again. On Saturday, I went to this coffee place. Oh my God, it was so awful, you guys. It, it was the same, it was like Starbucks, but it was just like, it was so bad, it was disgusting. So that was not fun. Oh, this guy's really cute. Oh, never mind. I take that back. I take that back. Oh, this guy totally took my fucking parking spot. He's stupid. Ass. Okay. It's okay. I got a good parking spot. You guys, today I had like a super productive day or like morning because it's barely like one o'clock. I. I woke up, I went to work. You guys know that I usually work in the morning for about an hour, so I went to work and then I hit the gym, which was really good for me because I haven't hit the gym in a minute, I think since I got back from Mexico. Um, actually, I did hit the gym last week, but I didn't count it because it was really random. Um, so I went to the gym. After the gym, I went home. I had some healthy breakfast and you guys, I'm like, my hair's like not cooperating today and then I what else did I do so I did some I got some breakfast well I made myself some breakfast I took an hour nap which was the best nap I've taken in a while um and I woke up I filmed a get ready with me but I don't know I'm not really feeling the get ready with me I wasn't like in the zone I was just kind of like I didn't really know what to talk about and then my setup was really janky um, cause I had like, a, I have a really nice table to like film, like it's like, um, a, what do you call it? Like, like a foldable type of table, but my brother is using it right now. So he like, ugh, he like took over my little table. So I was going to go and like take all his stuff out of there and just use my table again, but I felt kind of bad. Um, cause this, he has this kind of like machine on there. Um. It's just a long story, so I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be, like, super messed up and just take all his stuff off of the little table. Um, so I just ended up fil filming, like, on a stool, and it was really uncomfortable, and it was just bad. Anyways, you guys, look at my nails. Aren't they so freaking long? I love this nail polish. It's, like, green, like, this funky green color, but when I wash my hands or my hands are cold, it turns, like, purple. So I've really been liking this nail polish. It's really like a mermaid type of vibes. And I love it. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go get my coffee really quick and then I'll come up and I'll come back. And look, okay. you guys, I'm like already like super jittery and I haven't even had coffee. Like, this is not good. This I'm not starting off this good. But anyway, I'm like all over the place. Concentrate. Let me go get my coffee and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, you guys. I went in, I got my coffee, and now I'm back. It's so hot, you guys, like it's ridiculous. Like I feel like my makeup is just like melting off my face. Um, and then I don't wanna put the AC 
way too high because then you can hear it when I edit it or like when you guys are watching I think you guys can like hear the AC and that really bothers me so I don't want to like blast it but at the same time I just want to blast it on my face right now because it's like really hot anyways so okay let me talk to you guys so yeah I had a productive day I filmed I did all that I am not like 100% happy with the footage that I got so I'm gonna go home edit it if I like it and then I'll upload it but if I just if I don't like it then I'm just not gonna use it because um, I only want to put like content that I really really love on my channel now especially when it's like it's like makeup do I look really pink I feel like I look really pink but anyways we're gonna stay like this for today um yeah that's better I feel like when I go to the gym I get really hyper afterwards like I get a lot of like adrenaline I think so I'm just like all over the place and I can't like I can't just like organize my thoughts so I do apologize for that but anyways um I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of brief you guys a little bit on our whole house hunting adventure and um turns out turns out you guys like i didn't know this but when you are house hunting with your family turns out friendships might start ending and yeah like if you i wonder how it works like if you're in a relationship in your house hunting like i bet that would lead to like divorce i think because right now me and my brother are just on completely different ends we're like not speaking to each other right now because we are just we're just not on the same page and I'm angry with him he's angry with me and we're just not not really good friends right now so I wonder how it, like people that are actually like married and they're house hunting like I wonder how that would go because our house hunting thing is going bad like I've made enemies in my house now like I'm not speaking to certain people it's just it's not it's not great so I'm gonna like do a little overview of what happened so the house that we really really wanted which was like the bid house um they ended up wanting way too much much than what they um than what the house was even worth it wasn't a very good area and it was um a really nice house asked in it had a lot of square feet and stuff like that but it wasn't a brand new house um it definitely needed updates um, down the line and you know there's cheaper houses around maybe other neighborhoods that are completely renovated and are way cheaper so yeah they just wanted a crazy amount of money so we just we couldn't afford it what they wanted it was just out of way out of our price range wasn't as disappointing as I thought it was um because I kind of like I don't know like I really loved it but I also saw it's like it's negative side so I was just kind of like whatever oh, you guys I forgot my sunglasses in my eyes I'm like squinting I'm like I can't see because it's so bright outside anyways so then we found another house that I, I really like that house and I never talked about this house on here because we found it really like it was really random the way we found it and anyways that's besides the story so we find this house we go and we see it and um so the agent for that house tells us that September 25th is the last day that they're accepting offers so we were like oh okay like we still have we still kind of have a long like we still have like a whole week and a half to go until September 25th like it's not even September 25th right now so we were like okay like we have a long way to go like we can still look at other houses so um we tell our agent like okay yeah like we're interested in this house but we're still like we still want to look since we still have time I guess this is what what was going through my mind and my brother's mind like okay we still have time so one day, one day, like two days after we viewed the open house, um, I'm going online and I had already talked to like the agent for that house and she had told me the last day would be the 25th of September. So I was going through um, the app and 
I saw that that house was no longer listed and I was like that that's weird like that's really weird so I like texted my brother I was like I, the house is not listed anymore can you like call our agents see what's happening and then um so my brother calls our agent and she basically said like the house was already pending so they didn't even wait till the 25th like you guys I don't get this whole house purchasing situation so it sold even before they accepted offers I don't know I don't know what, what's the deal with that so then me and my brother got into like kind of an argument because I told him that like he just like waited too long and he said it was my fault that I told him the 25th and it was just like all over the place and yeah we've been upset ever since so right now we're not really speaking to each other just because I think we're just frustrated with this situation and we're frustrated with each other and yeah so that's kind of where we're at at the moment so we're back to square zero basically we have to go back and I there is this one house that I've seen and that I've liked but it's not like it's not like the perfect house and it is pretty expensive um, which I know we're never gonna find the perfect house especially where we live like where we live it's really expensive so hey guys it's just one of the oh, I'm, I'm sorry you guys I was listening <laughs> did you guys hear that I love this um, girl her name is Jake Crew plants and I love her like plan um, what's it? her plan with me and I was watching her so I connected my phone and I started hearing her so anyways so what was I saying so yeah we're back um we're back looking at I don't know where, where we're going from here like I told you I don't normally speak to my brother so I told my sister the other day I was like what has he been looking and I was just like yeah because usually I'm the one that finds the houses and then I send them to him and now it's like I'm not looking for anything right now because I'm upset. So he needs to like step up his game and do something. This guy is like, like on my, you know what?
anyways you guys i'm just gonna i'm gonna go now because i'm like getting off track and i'm gonna hear some music relax for about 15 minutes before i have to go to work because if you guys do not know like my favorite time of the day is when i'm driving to work hearing my music blasting my music singing along that is what i like to do so that's why i kind of don't vlog that much because i use it as like my meditative time like i'm meditating basically you know like i'm relaxing anyways you guys i'm gonna go i'll talk to you guys later thank you guys so much for watching and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys